Hello friends, welcome once again to the Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to see the complete uninstallation of the IntelliJ IDEA standalone version from Windows 11. Yes, we are going to see the complete uninstallation of IntelliJ IDEA. If you have installed this IntelliJ IDEA as a standalone version, then you can use this method. First, we have to go to the Apps in Feature section of the Windows Settings. Then we will select this IntelliJ IDEA app. Then we need to click on the Uninstall button. Uninstallation process may be a little bit different, depends on the version of your Windows. And the procedure for the installation may be a little bit different. And guys, you have the another option to uninstall this. You can simply go to the bin directory of the installed location and simply click on the uninstall.exe. Okay, now go to the search and type the apps. Then you will see the results. Click here, add and remove. Then you will see the list of all the installed apps here. Now on the search box, you have to type IntelliJ and you will see the result. This is the installed IntelliJ idea. And now you have to click on the three dots. Then you will see the message and click the button uninstall. And you will see the uninstallation window here. So this will ask you to select these two check boxes. If you want to delete all the stuff, which is inside the cache, in uh, the local history of your files and the other stored values. So you can simply check the first and second box and you can proceed with the button uninstall. Once you click the uninstall, uninstall process will start and soon this will uninstall IntelliJ IDEA from your system and you will see the completed message then you can click on the close button so guys we have done the half process of the uninstallation now we need to perform uh, one more step in which we will remove the following directories from the system these directories resides inside the app data of your system so we have to go to that location and we need to delete those two types of directories. I will show you. So this is the example of the location. So we will find this location inside the users and then we have the app data folder. So first we have to look for the app data folder inside the users. Now we will go to the uh, the explorer and here go to the this pc and uh, then uh, you have this c drive inside the c drive we have the users after that we have to select the current user once you get the current user we need to find the app data folder but generally app data folder is hidden and we need to unhidden this then you have to go to the view option and click here on the show and then you will find this option click hidden items once you click the hidden item you can see more hidden items up here in which app data is there so once the app data is visible go inside the app data and then you have to look for the roaming and the local folder so first we will go inside the roaming folder and we will look for the JetBrains folder so finally we got the JetBrains folder and we will delete all the stuff inside the JetBrains folder. So simply select all the stuff from the JetBrains folder and delete it. Okay. Now we will go to the another folder which is local and we will do the same task here. Go to the JetBrains and delete this ID. Uh, okay. Different version of uh, uh, IntelliJ IDEA has different uh, naming convention of these folders inside the local folder. So simply delete whatever inside the local folder and just refresh your system. Okay, guys, we have done it. So uh, to restart your machine at least once before going to install the newer version of the IntelliJ IDEA and you want to install any other uh, product of the jet brains so then you can proceed guys this is the complete process of the installation of intellij idea completely from your system 
I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Guys, please hit the like button to appreciate and you can subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT Help.